Hi guys, Joseph the World here, and today, yet again, we are talking about another disgusting nods. The disgusting man you see on your screen right now is David Hansen, a 45-year-old nods that tried to meet up with what he thought to be a 14-year-old girl. Luckily, it wasn't a 14-year-old girl, it was the predator hunting group that just the two as covered numerous times on this channel now, so I'm sure you guys are pretty much familiar with them. Obviously, a link will be left in the description if you do want to go check out the original non Sting. But if you live in the UK, you may have seen this clip before. Right, sir. 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 Whoa. Sir. Are you alright? Right, sir. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. David Hansen was communicating with what he thought to be a 14 year old minor. Luckily, it wasn't. It was the Predator Hunting Group. And the mindset David was in at the time, both his parents had passed away. He had lost his job and he was now homeless when he, you know, got WhatsApp and started communicating with the minor. Now, that doesn't excuse his behaviour. At all, I am the last person to try to defend these guys, but I'm just giving a bit of insight on how he was in his mind at the time of talking to a minor. The conversation itself between him and the fake 14 year old is obviously as disgusting as it comes. He talks about what he would do to her, which I'm not going to mention just because one of my videos before I got taken down for loosely describing what he was planning on doing but yeah i'm not doing that he was also found in his bag he had toothpaste a toothbrush and condoms when he tried to meet up with the minor but what actually happened to david hansen what happened to this fainting nonce? well obviously that just for the police and he was arrested after they confronted him he obviously later appeared in court where he pled guilty to one count of attempting to meet a child following sexual grooming Judge Sloan, I think his name is, sentenced David Hansen to a three-year community order, and he was also given a 10-year sexual harm prevention order. Now, there's no information saying he was put on the sex offenders register, or if he was actually sentenced to uh, a jail or prison, but... That's usually a track record on these non stings. If you've watched my previous videos, you know they barely get any jail time compared to what things like drug dealers get. It's honestly ridiculous, but I'm not the one who decides these things. Yeah, and that's it. That's all the information I have left on David Hansen, the fainting nods. Now, I quickly just want to take time responding to a few comments I keep seeing. Like, I keep getting, obviously, I asked for suggestions of what nonsense to cover on this channel. Now, what I keep getting repeatedly is the Yogi nonce, who the nonce keeps blaming someone called Yogi. But I'll be honest, I cannot find any information on this guy. I've searched up Yogi nonce and other stuff, but I, one, I don't know his full name, and when I have found his name before, I've Obviously, I forgot it now. But when I have found this full name, I still couldn't find any information. So, I know this might be a bit frustrating, but I'm not going to make a video on something about something I don't really know about. So, I'm sorry, guys. That can't happen. I might make a reaction video of it with uh, Mr. 66 Rage, if he's obviously willing. But, obviously, no guarantee. But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Hopefully I'm getting back into the routine of uploading every so often or, you know, a few times a week now. Yesterday, I'll be honest, I was just too tired. I had to cover an extra shift at work and my knees and legs were pretty much just destroyed and I just couldn't be bothered. I wanted to rest. Anyway, yeah, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe and yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit.